Hello and welcome to RetroCore and today we're going to be taking a look at something a bit special and quite an exclusive. This is the iFu HDMI streaming solution, completely wireless. And I will be clear with you, this was provided to me by iFu. But not only this, we also got the charging station and this thing as well. So let's open up and see what we got inside. Okay, so first let's take a look at the main device. Now, even though these devices were given to me, that is not going to alter my opinion of them. So I am going to tell exactly what I think of these devices. And coincidentally, they do actually have a Kickstarter for this device going up uh, very soon, maybe even today as this video is published. So I'll put a link in the video description down below for the Kickstarter page. All right, so first impressions of an unboxing experience. Well, we've got a nice little gold logo here. That's quite nice. And the MM Wave technology, HDMI. Let's see, how do we open it? Does it just slide out? Nope, it actually opens up from the front. It's got magnets, nice. All right, so let's take a look in here. Now this is a bit of an early version, but uh, yeah, already it's looking pretty respectable. So we've got a user manual here. And apparently in the box, we have got an H2 Pro receiver and an H2 Pro transmitter. Instruction manual seems to be all in English. Hmm. All right, and here we have it. Okay, so we've got a charging brick, power supply, sorry, not a charging brick. It's all suede as well, that's pretty nice. All right, let's get this stuff out. Alright, typical USB, this is going to be 5 volts, I guess, yes, uh, 5 volts, 1 amp. Okay, this is the receiver. Nice aluminium base on that, it's even got a tripod mount, so you can probably mount it on a tripod. Some nice rubber feet there, stop it slippering about. There's the HDMI out and the uh, DC in. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, all right. And uh, let's see, we've got the transmitter here. And I believe this will plug into the source device. Let's take a look at this. All right, again, it's got a nice aluminium finish to it. Nice metal finish there. Yeah, little button there. A little bit scratched up, but it is a pre-production model. And what is quite nice is we do have a different option to mount it. So that's quite nice. All right, and what else do we get in the box? Oh, maybe a fair few extras. Okay, what's in here? HDMI cable, I presume. Yes, we've got an actual iFu HDMI cable. Right, that's a full size HDMI. And we've got the USB C cable there. And in here we have, okay, USB A to USB C cable. That's the same as this. Uh, I see because both devices need to be powered. Okay. And in this little box we got something let's see what we got in here ah okay now we know why we have that mountain screw we have a little tripod mount well that could come in handy I guess all right let's check out the other packages Okay, well, I'm a little intrigued to see what's inside this box. I'm not too sure, actually, so um, let's get it open. All right, we've got another nice unboxing experience here. Look at that, we've got a nice little Paul tab. Let's give it a Paul. Nice, the experience is good. 
All right, we've got another transmitter, it would seem. Let's take a look at that. Ah, this is, oh, this is a USB-C transmitter. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this out of here. Yes, and it seems to have a little clip on it of some sort. And finally, the last box, and this one's easy to figure out. It says portable dock and charger. I think this might be the product which is designed for the Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite. Let's uh, take a look at this. Of course, this does not have the nice unboxing experience of the other items. So, ah, there we go. Yes, portable charger for Nintendo Switch. All right, so it's for the kids. They didn't bother giving it a nice packing experience. Uh, let's open this up. All right, 45 watts. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Wow, look at that. Ooh, now that is smart. Okay, we've got our HDMI out there. We've got our five points. Uh, five volts, one amp in, or is that an out? And we've got a type C as well. 45 watts, GAN. All right, and there's a socket there. I am intrigued. Thing is, I don't have a Nintendo Switch anymore. So I wonder if I can use this for something else. It's a nice solid bit of kit, that. And in the bottom we have, yes, as expected, Pretty robust, very thick USB-C to USB-C cable. Very nice. I do like the right angle jack on that. All right. Okay, well, we got a lot of good stuff, but I'm going to focus first on this pair here. Let's get this set up and see if this device truly is lag-free, because that's what they claim. Let's set it up and find out. So what we're going to do first is connect up the iFood receiver to the H2T100A transmitter and we're going to plug that into this analog Super NT and see how responsive it is. Okay, so as you can see it is searching for the signal so let's give a little bit of power to the transmitter and we will see the transmitter will automatically boot into life and start searching for the receiver. And as you can see, it is now searching. So once we have the green marquee, so basically the animated green LEDs, that tells you that the devices are paired. And if we move the camera upwards, you will see that the Super NT is now on the TV screen. And this is connected completely wirelessly. Now let me just see how well this responds. Does it have lots of lag? Okay, here we go. I've got the controller here and I'm pushing down. Now, it's instantaneous. There is no delay. Um, one more time. Now, 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 now. I'm telling you guys, that is spot on. That is perfect. Okay, so let's test it out with the analog NT connected directly to the TV via HDMI and then again via the iFu wirelessly. And we'll see if there actually is any difference in delay. Okay, so here we are with the Super Nintendo connected directly to the TV. As you can see, the iFu is not switched on and the transmitter is not in the analog Super NT. So here we go with the grappling hook. Ready? Wait till he stops firing. Let's do it. Now. And now. And now. And once again, I'll try and get my finger out of the way. Ready? Three, two, one. Now, okay, let's check it out wirelessly. Okay, here we go in wireless mode. Now, as you can see, we do have 
the transmitter and the receiver connected there. I know they're out of focus because we've got the control in focus, but just watch how quickly this responds when I press the grapple hook. Ready? Okay, one more time. Did you see that? Pressing it now. And now. And one more time. Now. Let's see if I can get my finger out of the way of the button so you can actually see the button go down. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. Now let's compare that side by side with the wired connection and see if there's any difference. So here we go with the iFu connected to a Sega Dreamcast, which is running a Thomas Wave Games. And yes, it really is connected, as you can see, from this third person footage. So there's the iFu. And there it is, plugged into an HDMI out connector on a Sega Dreamcast. Another very useful feature of the iFood transmitter and receiver is hooking it up to a PC. Hooking it up to this PC, as you can see, requires no additional power for the transmitter. It plugs straight into the HDMI out, which provides it with enough power to transmit the signal. The receiver is connected to the USB port on the TV. So, no extra cables needed. As you can see, my son is using it here to browse the internet, because he likes to watch his YouTube on the bigger screen. This feature is also very useful if you are in a conference. You could have yourself a tablet, be walking around the people you're talking to while having the display on a big projection screen or on a massive TV. It would work in the exact same way you're seeing here. So there we have the iFu range of devices. Very nice transmitter and receiver. Plus we also have the mobile phone transmitter as well, which can also be used on a Nintendo Switch. Now, fortunately, my mobile phone doesn't have the DP protocol, so I cannot broadcast my mobile phone screen onto a TV wirelessly using this adapter. But Nintendo Switch can, and many other tablets also can. So that's what this one is for. Now, to be honest with you, I think this is an excellent product. And for me, this comes in very handy by not having to get around the back of machines and plug in cables. Basically, I can just have this setup connected to the TV and whatever machine I want to use, just stick this in the back of it. Now, depending upon the machine, you may need to power this. Now you can connect it to a USB source, but that means an extra cable dragging across the floor somewhere. So why not just connect it to a power bank like this? That is an option. Some devices such as the Dreamcast did not need extra power. Now, as far as lag goes, I don't notice any lag at all. It is extremely fast. Now, these run at 60 gigahertz at a 3.96 gigabyte transfer rate. Now, that is pretty fast. Now, these things do also work on next-gen machines as well, but unfortunately not 4K. You can get up to 2K 60 frames per second, but not 4K, which is a bit of a shame, but still, 2K wirelessly over HDMI without lag? That is pretty impressive so yes that is the iFu range of products again disclosure these were given to me but that is not affecting my opinion on these I do wish they did 4k wisely but they don't but still 
720p, 480p, 720p, 1080p, 2K, all 60 hertz, not a problem. No lag in the sound, no out of sync audio from what I've experienced. Good items, thumbs up. Link in the video description down below for the Kickstarter, if it's actually going ahead. Until next time guys, take it easy. See ya.